Seizure City. Hi, I'm Kyla Dixon Muir. Welcome to Riverdale Meadow Community Garden in the heart of downtown Toronto. This is a full sun organic garden with really unique opportunities to do season extension techniques and cold frames. We actually keep foods growing here in the garden all 12 months of the year. On days as cold and snowy as this, the plants are by and large hibernating, but we can get significant extensions on what most Canadians, most Torontonians consider to be the gardening season. In the cold frames we grow mostly leafy greens. That's uh, kale, collards, Swiss chard, sorrel, mash, which is a cold hardy lettuce, lots of heirloom lettuces, varietals of spinach, anything green and leafy. Some herbs get a good season extension as well. Um, no tomatoes, nothing that is generally a heat loving crop, but most leafy greens are very cold tolerant. This is Swiss chard and while it is laying down right now because the temperature outside is below zero, it's not dead, it's just hibernating and it will regrow any day this winter that the temperature inside the frame, which is generally sunny days, comes above zero. harvest that now if I wanted to because I can cook it. I found a book by Elliot Coleman called Four Seasons Gardening and was absolutely entranced with the idea. I've always had a love of carpentry so this was a really neat application for combining my loves of carpentry, gardening and cooking for all four seasons of the year. It's an old technique that is being revived, but it gives me my exercise to take a walk here to the garden and uh, brush things off, and it's certainly an incredible experience to come out to the garden and brush the snow off the frames and see the wonderful green inside. Heirloom lettuces, a little cold right now, but still happy. Not crushed by the snow, just sheltered. such an abundance of leafy greens for us to eat. And very early in the spring we will manage to start peas long before most people are even thinking about starting their indoor seedlings. Everything here is run only by the power of that great furnace in the sky. These are the canes that produced fruit last year. The berries grow on the lateral branches. The new shoots that will produce fruit this coming year don't have laterals. What I have growing over the heating pipes that run from the school to uh, some cold frames that are being refurbished. So. Um, I'm for the first time trying to grow up against a wall uh, with a little bit of passive heating applied to it. This is the Robin's favorite place in all of Riverdale come the winter. This, the heating pipes that run from the school to the greenhouse come right under here. There's a small hot water heater just inside the windows here. So I'm applying some uh, strategies to try and see if I can do container gardening in a cold frame taking advantage of the heat that's running underground here. The light isn't nearly as good. We're blocked on the south and on the west, so we're not getting nearly as good sun. But the passive heat that's coming through here Alive. 
I haven't approached any commercial farmers about this. I do speak to horticultural societies, to community groups. Um, I'm getting a lot of interest at schools now. Uh, schools are being mandated to start applying more of these techniques and uh, I've had a few teachers tours here in the fall uh, to help equip them to do this for their grade school students uh, and lots of community gardeners are getting involved in the process now. This is the perfect application for September through June gardening. Oh, the spinach that grows in the winter is absolutely the sweetest spinach you could imagine. All of the plants have a richer, denser flavor. Because they're growing slowly, they grow in a more concentrated way, and I enjoy my winter leafy greens far more than anything that grows in the uh, spring and into the early part of summer.